So today we're at Camosun College where our government has shown again our commitment to helping our post-secondary institutions like Camosun College find ways to reach out to more young people to get them involved in trades training. The business case uh, is used to uh, create a, uh, a design and a plan uh, to um, analyze exactly what um, uh, needs to be uh, built and for how many students, both uh, looking at what the demand for students are today and in the future. Well, for the students, it's going to mean that they'll be able to work in a much better environment, more state-of-the-art facilities, so it'll be enhance their learning experience, obviously, if we've got better equipment, better facilities, so that's a great opportunity for them. Um, I'm hoping to stay with this trade, have a career out of it. Um, I want to end up in like a dealership or something like that. Well, I was a bit nervous at first because being one of the few girls, but it's actually fine. Everyone's totally welcoming. It's super comfortable. There's three of us out of 18, so it's a good number. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I get credits for both college as well as high school, but I don't have to pay for the college program. I pay for my books. I pay for what I'm wearing right now with the coveralls and glasses, and that's about it. They always need mechanics, and you always will need mechanics. So. Cars keep changing, the mechanics keep evolving for that types of jobs, and I feel it'll be a fine job to get into. Uh, one of the steps in the BC's Jobs Fund is to ensure that we have the, um, our students, our workers, uh, with the right skills in the right place, uh, trained in the province, to ensure that they have the skills for those jobs of today and tomorrow.